Hey squad, welcome back. Now today I'm gonna to be talking to you about this baby right here, the Novation Launchpad Pro, and in particular, how I use it when I'm composing, editing, and mixing in Logic Pro X. Now the Launchpad Pro is essentially a device that's mainly used with Ableton Live. It's a fantastic tool and companion with Ableton Live. If the Ableton push is outside of your budget, the Launchpad Pro is a great substitute and does all of the key functions that you'll need for that door. However, it's still a MIDI controller and can be used with pretty much any door out there. All you need to be able to do is figure out how to assign the relevant controls or functions from your door and assign them to the different switches and buttons on the actual device. And that's what I'm gonna show you today. So if you're thinking about getting one of these and you work in Logic Pro in particular, it's definitely something you wanna consider. Let's go. Okay, so using the Launchpad Pro to record MIDI events into Logic Pro X is real simple. All you need to do, in fact, is hook it up using your USB cable and straight away the pads will become live and you're able to then make use of them. Let's actually turn this off. I'll fire it up. Now this is the initialized screen. We've got some sound here straight away when I hit the pads. Um, however, what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch over to drum mode, hold down the setup button, and then go to the top row of pads and press the third pad in. Okay, so now as you can see, we're in drum mode. And let's try that out. Now I've got an instance of the Body Blows drum kits sample pack loaded right here and you can grab that for free um, check the description below for the download link and get that straight away program again like i said is real simple and all you need to do is um, just set up a new software instrument track in logic pro x you can use ultra beat or you can use the exs24 sampler or the drum kits designer whichever you choose the pads will become available for you to actually tap out a beat. Let's do something real quick using that. Nice, simple drum pattern. Okay. Of course, if you own one of these units, the chances are you have a fair idea as to how to switch to the different modes, whether it be note mode or drum programming mode. I'm not gonna to get too much into that. The main thing I wanna focus on is how to assign logic functions to these buttons right here so that you can use this thing as a controller to quickly launch logic commands when you're programming or mixing or whatever. I mean, of course, as you may well know, I've got a great series on Logic Pro X key commands and it's quite handy to be able to program up some of the buttons right here so that you'll be able to get straight to things real quick without using the computer keyboard. So let's start off with our programming. First thing you need to do is go to Logic, Key Commands, Edit. Or you can use the key command, Option K. And the first thing I wanna do is I wanna program the Logic Click or Metronome onto this button right here, okay? so. First thing I'm gonna do is come up here to search and I'm gonna type metronome. In fact, as soon as I type met, that comes up. I'm gonna click on that. And just here, I'm gonna hit learn new assignment. Click on this. As soon as I press this click button right here, the assignment has now been learnt. And let's see if that works. If I press play on the keyboard, Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna press click again. And you can see the click is gone. Press it again. Cool. Okay, so we've done the click. Let's go back in here and let's try something else. Let's, um, let's go for undo. Okay, so edit undo. Um, we type in this, type in the search undo. Okay, and right here we've got undo, and I'm gonna uh, learn a new assignment. And once again, I'm gonna press the undo button. Okay, and now if I click out here, let's try something, let's, let's delete this. 
And now by pressing the undo button, let's see what happens. Boom. Okay, so that works. Let's work our way down. Delete. Let's let's program that one up. Uh, delete. Delete selected event. Let's try that. Learn new assignment. Press delete. Okay. Let's click out here. Yeah, let's select that. Delete. And now undo. Cool. Quantize. Yeah, that's quite a handy one. Let's type quantize in there. That's the one. Again, learn new assignment. Hit that there. Cool. In fact, let's come out of this for a minute. Okay, I'm gonna select all. Um, I'm using the computer keyboard now, Command A. We're gonna press the quantize key and let's see what happens. There you go. As you can see, that's been done. You can take your time, work your way through and figure out what you want to assign to the different buttons. Um, a couple of really handy ones I'm going to show you right now are the duplicate um, button, which is really useful. Um, normally I use Command R to duplicate a region. So Command R on the keyboard and OK, I'm going to undo that. However, if we go back in here, pull that back up and now we're going to use the repeat, repeat regions or events. So we're going to use duplicate for that. Learn new assignment, duplicate. Okay. Come out here, select this, press duplicate. Boom. Really handy. Another great one, which I um, love to use is this one. And this is to play. Let's type play. Okay. So play from previous bar. Now this is a really handy one. New assignment and let's assign it to this one right here. Okay, now the reason I like this one is because let's say, for example, the cycle loop is running and I'm playing from here. Let's take the click off. I, I stopped playing. If I was to press space bar again, the playhead will go to the beginning of the loop. Okay, however, if I just want to continue playing from here and I press this button now, it just jumps back a bar and I can continue. Hit space bar to stop, press again, jumps back a single bar so it doesn't jump to the start of the cycle loop. Now I hope you found the video useful and if you do, remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. It's always great hearing from you so your feedback is always very welcome. Now I'd be very grateful if you'd also check out my other social media profiles um, all of the information in the description and just like the rest of the MTTC squad remember to hit that notification bell so whenever I drop my next video you'll be told straight away and I look forward to catching up with you real soon I'm Dr. Deuce peace <laughs>